treatment for thalassemia major what can be done so one is regular blood transfusion so every month they need blood and they can live long on blood transfusions but blood has iron and when you give blood transfusions every month then there is iron overload too much of iron gets deposited in heart and liver and eventually these two organs fail by the age of 15 to 20 years and can lead to death so to reduce the chances of uh, these complications the, all the patients have to start on oral chelation therapy these are the tablets which take out iron from the liver and heart and and it gets out in the urine and through the liver so uh, regular chelation or the medicines to take out iron is a must for any patient of thalassemia especially once they have received 10 to 12 blood transfusions and serum ferritin is more than 1000 so those patients should start chelation and that can prolong their life to 35 to 40 years safe blood is another important thing so whenever they get a blood transfusion it should be from a good blood bank it should be hiv negative hepatitis b negative hepatitis c negative and there should be no infections in that blood so that you you stay well because if you get hiv or hepatitis b c it can shorten your lifespan now coming to the permanent cure for thalassemia so bone marrow transplant is permanent cure for thalassemia so what we do in bone marrow transplant is that we need a healthy donor who is either unaffected or is a thalassemia carrier but doesn't need transfusions and we do HLA typing or a bone marrow typing we do the matching between the patient and the donor and if the donor is a full match then that can be the best donor so usually your sibling your brother or sister is likely to be a full match and it's a match sibling donor transplant is the best treatment for thalassemia it has success rate of nearly about 90 to 95 percent if done before five years of age between 5 to 10 years of age, the success is 80 to 90 percent and beyond 10 years, the success is 70 to 80 percent. So early transplant before the age of 5 years is very, very successful and all parents, they should discuss with the doctor that if bone marrow transplant can be done and what are the steps and go for this treatment because it is a permanent cure which should be uh, offered. Now. If you don't have a match sibling donor, when there is no full match donor available in the family, then what can be done? Then you can wait, the, the family can have another baby in the coming three to five years and that baby may be a match and you can do transplant from the next baby. Or you can do a search for a matched unrelated donor. There are a lot of registries around the world. There are people who want to donate their bone marrow and your doctor, your bone marrow transplant physician can do a search and if a fully matched unrelated donor is available, then a matched unrelated donor transplant can be offered. And if that is also not available or uh, then the other alternate donor options are haploidentical stem cell transplant that is half match transplant from one of the parents or a sibling who is at least 50% matching and that's also feasible with good success rate. Coming to future of thalassemia, the future is gene therapy where uh, we take out patients own bone marrow and take it to the lab and with the viral uh, virus uh, we transduce these cells, we change their genetic makeup and put the correct beta gene into the cells and these corrected bone marrow is put back into the patient after giving chemotherapy to finish the old bone marrow and this new bone marrow which has corrected gene makes the blood and the patient is free of thalassemia so this is known as gene therapy for thalassemia and this is available in europe and in us at this point of time bit expensive other new treatment is gene editing where we don't need a virus to do the to, to make a change in the gene but we use crispr cas technique which is non-viral technique and with this we change the genetic makeup of the bone marrow and fix it so that the thalassemia is cured and those cells are put back. So new treatments are around the corner and certain other drugs are being tried or injections are being tried which can increase your hemoglobin so that you are not transfusion dependent on World Thalassemia Day. Hope you all get the right treatment and the best treatment and the best quality of life. Thank you.